Okay, today we're going to talk about one of the essentials of Photoshop when it comes to compositing. And that is, of course, blending. Blending is something that you must be able to do properly. Otherwise, your composite will look fake and basically horrible. There are many different ways that you can do blending in composites. What I'm going to do is give you a short, um, quick and dirty method that I use sometimes. And most of the times you'll get pretty good results. Let's get started with two images. First one, we got that. And we're going to do a quick composite so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we got this. We're gonna. This is going to be our background. Let's copy it over here. Bring it down a bit. And the second one, we got this dog. Um, so let's... First thing we're going to do, let's crop out the dog from the background as best we could. So I'll keep some of this couch. We'll remove that later. I don't need to worry about this right now. I go up. We won't really take too much time on this. Go over here, select the Refine Edge Brush Tool, and just come down on the ears, make it a bit smaller. Let's try without the smart radius. And come around the ears to bring back some of that softness. So that's about enough. Okay, so after that, we we'll click layers, apply a layer mask, and we get that. That's good. We'll take that over to our main scene, which is this, and just drop it. Knowing me, I like to make a copy, just in case. Um, make it 
smaller and position it accordingly of, clo of course this edge gotta be on the edge too, so it don't be cut off like that let's position it accordingly and put it right here and then we'll refine the edges again get your brush tool painting with black on the mask and we're gonna remove some more of that couch just go as close as you can I'm using a mouse I don't have a um, a pressure sensitive tablet or anything so I'm being as careful as possible when you get over here you can drop the flow even more pretty good. Um, oops. Put the mask back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, we still need to fix this up a bit. I know this was just a short tutorial, but it's certain things we still have to do. So, same painting with black on the layer mask. Drop the flow all the way, maybe less than 20, depending on the image and resolution opacity. Let's drop that a little bit and see what we get. Oops. All we're doing here is softening. Edges a little bit more. Let's bring that opacity back up to 100. Increase the flow a little bit more. Oh, this is a two step process. That's the first step. Get the blur tool 
let's go 100% and we soften the edges paint on the layer with the dog on the actual image on the edges and it'll soften it even more before we do that let's flatten this layer or apply the layer mask either way doing really a quick job no real um, not spending too much time just softening so you could generally get the idea of what we're trying to accomplish tell which areas need softening based on the surrounding areas of the image this would be fine this no soften it a little bit a little bit more let's do this area a little bit more Okay, so that's it. Just a quick tutorial. Um, we got that, got the dog. Now, with this image, with these two images, as you can tell, they're similar in color. So it works pretty well. In some circumstances, you might be able to just get away with keeping it like that. But this is the... Um, the main theme of this tutorial we're gonna add a little bit more blend to make it more uniform we're not gonna do the complex individual blending we're just gonna do a quick down and dirty blending to make this more uniform and the way we do that is by picking a color overall color that you want it to blend with looking at this we want to blend it with the background which is here in the sand so get your eyedropper tool and pick an area that's good then we go over here pick an adjustment layer which is gradient map and we get that um, you can try different ones which works best but for this image and for what we're doing color should work perfectly and it does we get that and as you can see instantly it blends but it removes a lot of the color which is why we just come over here to opacity and just bring that down let's just add it zero so you can see that's zero increase it until the overall color starts to look better more even while keeping some of the color the original color so maybe around here as before after let's get a full screen so you can see
before, after. Twenty nine. Let's go up maybe a little bit more. Forty five. That's good. So that's basically it. You get a more even color blend without doing too much. This is just for it works best for beginners. You don't want to go individually, layer by layer, adjusting, brightening. Another quick thing you can do is apply a color lookup adjustment layer. Click, color lookup, and it does almost the same thing as the gradient map but we have some presets that's always fun to try like um, foggy foggy night you get that just with simple tools built into Photoshop no advanced learning as always try messing around with the opacity it gradient map color lookup table presets remember to drop the opacity try different opacities and you'll end up with something that without too much work that's pretty decent so that's it for this short tutorial I'll see you next time <laughs>